morning, everyone, and welcome to Assembly. This is our third Assembly of term, and you'll have noticed that the setting has changed. We're not in chapel, we're in the Marble Hall. And there is a, a reason for taking you into the Marble Hall, because in 1923, when the school was founded, this was Assembly. This is where everyone gathered for stance. And the ritual began with the head boy preceding the headmaster, banging down a soapbox, and the headmaster would stand on the soapbox and make his announcements. Now, there is a problem with this room. One is the acoustic, it's incredibly echoey, and second, it's quite a small room to get, in those days, 600 boys, all boys, into this single space. So what happened was that the smaller boys, those who were vertically challenged, would have to clamber up and find a platform. And I'll show you how they did it. So, up they went. As you can see, I'm not vertically challenged, but the smaller boys would cling on to the columns and be able to hear and see what was going on. While I'm here, I'll tell you something about the column. It's called the Marble Hall. But listen, it's hollow. Very little in this room is made of marble. There's a bit of Carrara marble on the floor. The base of the column is made of marble, but everything else is made of plaster. This is a brilliant bit of stage design. It has to be lighter than marble because otherwise we'd be, we'd be, go, we'd be crashing down into the floor beneath us. We're 31 steps above the ground. But here are some assembly notices. First up, we have our very first BTEC award. Ed Broughton has got a distinction for BTEC engineering, which we did in conjunction with the UTC at Silverstone. So very, very well done to Ed. We've also got a number of Cheshire awards uh, these are awarded to Stoics who are helping others in their communities. And first up is Daisy Binger, who has raised more than £600 for the Little Princess charity. Uh, Daisy cut her hair, and the hair has gone to help children who have lost their hair because of medical treatments that they're having. Second Cheshire Award goes to Sasha Clark Jones. Um, if you go on to the cookery website, uh, you'll see Sasha introducing you to lots of culinary delights and uh, explaining how you can make your lives more interesting by getting into the kitchen. Third, Sophie Lee. I saw a brilliant video of Sophie driving a tractor, helping at home with carving and lambing. Again, really important work and well done to Sophie. Martha Shillington has been making meals for NHS workers at the John Radcliffe Hospital and the Banbury Horton Hospital, helping food for heroes. Thank you very much to Martha. Finley Simpson is a budding entrepreneur, a, a Richard Branson in the making. He set up his own art supplies business. He's delivering art supplies to children and families who are getting creative during the lockdown. And then finally, we have Ayrton and Elliot Patel, who are about to embark on a 12-hour rowing exercise on the 16th of May, and that's to help the charity Young Minds. Now, while, while we're here, I want to tell you a little bit about this room. So, as I've said, it's not really made of marble, but it's about a conversation. It's a conversation between the past, the classical civilization of ancient Rome and Greece, and the present. So all these statues, it's a bit lonely here at the moment because I'm on my own, but all these statues are having a conversation with me, telling me about their brilliant achievements. It's supposed to remind you of a building called the Pantheon in Rome. Built in 120 AD, it was the Temple of Temples. So these Romans, the gods, the goddesses, these great figures ranging from Caesar, Augustus, Urania, 
Antinous over here, Venus, a Roman senator, Bacchus, and then Hygieia. These figures are supposed to be speaking to us of a civilization that has long gone. As we travel up with our eye, we go to the entablature, and then we go to something called the frieze. Now, this frieze is a sculpture. It's still attached to the stone. It is the largest and most perfectly realized and executed frieze in Britain. There are 280 figures processing. They're coming back from a glorious victory. And you can see some of the spoils of war called cornucopia over there, standards, um, shields, various bits, accoutrements of war, all being brought back to the centre of Rome. And to tell you, to remind you that this is a great victory, we've got none other than Nike, not a sportswear product, but the goddess of victory. And it culminates with this great sacrifice of a bull to Jupiter and a ram to Janus. And that's just above my head. And just to remind you that, yes, while this is all taking place in ancient Rome, it's all about Stowe because you can see that the temple is based on the temple behind me, one of the lakeside pavilion temples built by Vambra. So all the time you're channeling Rome, it's reminding you that Stowe is the equal of ancient Rome. Now, contrary to popular belief, I'm standing in the middle. I know many of you think this is very bad luck, but actually the truth is, this is really just a vent because there was a, a fire, a furnace beneath me, and this was one of the very, very inefficient ways of heating the building in the 18th century. So I hope you've enjoyed hearing something about this building, something about the room. I want you to take away two things. One is the Pantheon, and number two is the Parthenon, because the sculptures are based on the Parthenon in Greece. So remember, we learn from the past, there's a present, a conversation between the past and the present, and it's a continuing dialogue of civilization. Next week, I'm going to take you outside for the first live broadcast of an assembly in the gardens. Thank you very much for listening. Have a fantastic week. Goodbye. Thank you.